Okay, everyone. So thank you very much for watching this video case study. Together with me, I have Mr. Kenneth Cannon, and he will share a little bit about story and how we kind of got to know each other. And from there, I mean, what, what he knows about myself and what I do. So Ken, I will, I will just give you the, the ball and please introduce yourself. And if you can, just share my, more or less how we got to know each other and a bit of our story, please. All right, thank you, Philip. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Dan Cannon, and I currently live here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, which I call the, um, uh, the beautiful spot of, of, of America. It's here in a ski resort, uh, plus a mountain town. So um, it's, it's probably a, a great place to come to visit. So if you ever get a chance, I totally recommend it. But getting off track here, uh, sorry about that. But um, uh, yeah. uh, I first met Philip in the fall of 2012. Um, in fact, it was in uh, Quebec City, Canada. I nice. was um, getting on a cruise ship with my, uh, with my spouse and uh, we were getting ready to take a 12 day cruise from- It's roll there, yes. City to uh, Bayonne, New Jersey. Uh, and uh, I remember the first time I met him was he was <laughs> a trainer on, on the ship, on, uh, on the ship that we were going on. Um, he and uh, another gentleman from Italy, so they were the two personal trainers that they had on the ship. Um, and uh, one of the things that I used to do a lot was when I would, when I did cruise, when I went on cruises, is that they always had a what they call a boot camp, and um, right. I was I would uh, sign up for those. And uh, I remember the first day we got on the ship and went down there, and and there was some couple of names on there, uh, and um, so I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and sign up for it. So I signed up, uh, not knowing. <laughs> What to expect on this one because they're always different you always get a different uh fitness instructor on these on these ships so uh the first day that came up um i was the only one who showed up <laughs> for uh for this uh I remember, I remember. that was the elderly um, cruise <laughs> yeah i was the only one because i come to that later just to get people to sign up um some fake names were put on there to encourage people to sign yes. up and, <laughs> I, I fell for that. So, uh, yeah. And, but anyway, actually, it turned out to probably be, it's one of those things where it was probably the best thing that that happened, that it was only just he and I on this on this cruise. And that's when I got to really get to know uh, Philip, uh, was that because we did have so much one-on-one -on -one interaction yeah. during this time. Um, you actually made me that, work hard. I remember that, Ken. You made me work very hard. Yeah, granted, our age difference was quite a lot. I mean, he was obviously in his uh, 20s. 20, yeah, 20, maybe 25, my, 26. I was in my 50s. Um, so, but uh, anyway, I, I, uh, I started on this as uh, a boot camp. I don't know if any one of you have ever done a boot camp before, but it's a very intense workout ranging anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes of intense exercises where you go through different exercises, very short rest periods. You do the exercise, very short rest periods. And um, so, yeah, he, uh, I got to know this man. He pushed, excuse the language, the hell out of me. Um, and uh, which I have found totally impressive because I was so impressed how even though I was the only one there, um, he treated me like I was the only one there, that I was uh, there for whatever that time that we were going to be on the ship. I felt totally uh, comfortable with this trip, with, with Philip. I totally felt that he really was looking out for my welfare, that he was really wanting to push me uh, to get me to be uh, become better and in my uh, workout uh, routines, and not only just in the routines, but health-wise. So uh, we were able to uh, develop a relationship 
during that that time. And it wasn't just a a um, a business relationship or a client client tip, uh, client uh, relationship. It was also became a personal relationship. I got to know Philip uh, quite well, and so much that uh, he became uh, a friend of mine, and that uh, we decided to stay in contact with each other even after uh, this twelve day uh, cruise, and which led to our having an eight year now coming on eight years. It's twenty twenty, so in fact, next month will be eight years that I've known Philip. So that's how we got to know each other. Uh, I've been on some cruises be after that when he was a uh, was the uh, trainer, um, and um, so yeah, I, it's it's been a relationship. He's also come to the United States. He stayed with my spouse and I. I've been to his home uh, place in in Portugal. Uh, so um, it's. It's been an adventure. It's a story, yeah. Yeah, we have a story. <laughs> no, um, so much that I, I consider Philip now kind of like um, an adopted son that I didn't have, um, which kind of why uh, I uh, I kind of talked to him about things that how he was going in his life and try to give back something to him that I was given by my dad, and it and I feel like that you know some of the things that I, I've learned in life is that we can only keep what we have by uh, giving it away. And so what I like to do is to give him some of my, my, my knowledge of things that hopefully will help him in his, in his career as what my dad did for me uh, when I was starting out on my career. It's amazing. I'm a lucky man, Ken. I'm a very lucky man. <laughs> Ken, you're going... The going back to that very first when we started working together and I was your trainer at the very beginning, right? And you said that I, you felt I was looking at you as one unique person, right? And now right. moving that into what I do now, which is helping people that works that work in the sales industry and I help them to increase their sales, like to increase their revenue one of the things I work very specifically is in exactly on that angle, which mean, which meaning or understanding the person you're speaking to, understanding what they want, what they truly want, and not just treat them just another number and try to shovel something in or product or service. Uh, how, how you saw me as well work with others, partners i was helping other trainers to increase their numbers how important do you think that specific angle is that question one and question two do you see me doing that effectively meaning when people learn that for myself can they do it well all right yeah let me i mean granted the first time that uh, that we met it was just philip and i um, but as I mentioned later on in other cruises, there was times that there were more than just me. Um, and that's the, and to me, that is the key of, of someone that I look to who I know that really looks out for other people, not just uh, to punch their clock in. I mean, it's very easily that you get a group of five, six people in these classes and okay, it's 45 minutes. We're just going to do this, this, and this. It's very, it's, it's very easy for someone to just to clock right. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in. But what I've seen with Philip, and these are the times that I really have noticed it, is that when there were more than just me, and in particular, we did a crossing, and I remember there was like five or six, and every single day we, uh, that we had boot camp, everyone came back because this is what I saw Philip do. I mean, granted, he and I knew each other uh, better than we knew each other prior, he would still focus on every individual and what their need is and compared to what my need was. Yes, it's a group class. However, he took the time to, to work with us individually, whether it was before class kind of talked to him what, they're, what, they're, what they want to get out of this class and he would tailor right. their classes to them as well as 
uh, as he knew what mine was and he would tailor mine, but he would do in the group setting, he was able to work all of us incorporating everything, what everyone's needed. Um, there's been there just a, a, a funny, uh, I'll just say a funny situation that happened one time on the cruise is that um, we were uh, crossing and of course, Philip likes to push people, which is great. I mean, that's what he does. He pushes us to become the best that we can, can be. And yes, I mean, it's, it's easy for us to, for me to, to get lazy, but Philip won't allow that to happen. And uh, unfortunately he pushed this one person and uh, when he worked out quite a bit, they got, they kind of got a little sick. And you remember that story, oh my God. Yeah, we had to stop class because someone had to run outside of the gym and oh, and over the ocean. Oh my God! Yeah, grew up over the ocean, and luckily we were moving, and luckily the top deck wasn't there wasn't oh anything below except the ocean. So, yeah. Um, but I mean, that person did come back though, so it wasn't a bad thing. It's just kind of a funny situation. Of course, we all laughed about it. But that's the person, that's the type of person he is. I mean, he told us, the other folks, as that was happening, that to keep on doing these certain exercises, and he made sure that that, that person was okay and did not just leave them by themselves. So he did check, and it was one of those situations where you work out too much and you're not used to it. You just kind of lose your cookies a little bit. So, but yeah, that's, that's what I, I noticed about him and how much I... I really um, see what he does with individuals. Um, I've seen him at um, meetings, uh, sales meetings, for instance, on the ship where they, they um, uh, sell uh, supplements to individuals and stuff. And again, he, uh, there is a high push to sell, but I see what Philip does is that he's not there to push 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 he also takes the time to really work with individual folks about their needs and to tailor whatever they need for whatever the what they're looking for whether it's to increase their um, their metabolism uh, whether it's weight loss uh, whether it's a combination of both whether it's uh, to get uh, more uh, exercise to become um, see what else I could become a better person and with all of that he he works with them individually and takes the time to get to know them he knows their name he finds out where they're from not just a sales number it's he works very great with clients and to treat them as a client not just a sales right and let me ask you this Ken, who would you, would you recommend someone to work with me? Who? I, the type of person if that I would, would recommend. If you would recommend, first if you would recommend yes or no, and then who would you, who would you recommend? The type of person I would recommend, I, I mean, like I said, I, what I've seen with you is that um, you would take anyone, wherever they may be in their certain uh goal or are there certain aspect of where they are in their whether it's business or whether it's personal um i would see that you would tailor whatever they were and find out what they want to do and how to get from a to z um and how you would and you would work with them individually you would not tailor it um uh, one thing for all it's all Right. And that's what I, I see, which is so right. beneficial is that, you know, not everything is going to fit with every individual. So right. you want someone who has already done a lot of success. You, I would see that you would work with them and say, okay, you've reached this goal. What other goals do you want to reach? Um, do you want more success or do you want to look at going into a different direction of, of your professional life and whatever, um, they want then you would tailor that how to do that so and plus i mean starting out there was individuals that i see that i've seen you work with that who didn't know what boot camp was and i'm, I'm using this as as my uh example, uh, yes. example because that's when i really seen a lot of your um, 
uh, work ethics was doing those certain things uh, was during that boot camp where people who have not worked out a lot and they may not have known what they wanted, where they wanted to go. And you start them out just very simply. You're not going to uh, take them from being a someone who's going to boot camp uh, training right. sometimes like I did. Uh, my my goals and needs are going to be a little bit different than those people right. who are starting out. But you make sure that they they get something out of it. They get what they are looking for, whether it is right. to just, you know what, I've never been to the gym. Yeah. I've never done this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to start out slow. We're going to start out on small yeah. little right. goals. Right. On small goals and get and um and achieve those small goals and then work with them and say okay let's go to the next level where do you want to go all right thank you ken you know uh, it was perfect it was perfect and it's i i love to have the opportunity to have people knowing you as part of my life and um and thank you very much for sharing this story and to share your angle of me personal of who I am in the personal side and of who I am in the business coaching side. So that was, that was amazing. Thank you very much for your time, Ken. Sure. <laughs> You're welcome. And like I said, I mean, I, I, uh, I've worked with Philip um, personally, we've had some business dealings and one final thing is that, one thing that I have always said, and both my spouse and I have always known this about Philip, is his drive, is his dedication to whatever he decides to do, um, whether it's personal goals, whether it's business goals, he will stay with it no matter what, through bad times, good times, neutral times, he will stick with it. And that's what I respect about Philip is that he has dedication to what he is doing. So that's, yeah, that's my final thought about, about Philip that uh, I have always respected that about him is his dedication. Thank you very much, Ken. Thank you very much. All right. All right. So um, I'm going to have this ended. All right, Ken. And again, thank you very much for your time and for all of your words and for all of your the knowledge you shared about us, myself. Yeah.